Right. Just showing you're a manly man. <laughs> My fucking god. Seriously, I'm just gonna jump in the fucking ocean now. <laughs> oh, shit. Lovely Amber, just standing at the entrance to Oyster Cove, I think they call it. It's a beautiful sunny day here. There you have it folks, Yamba, Northern New South Wales. Hey guys, it's been a pretty eventful, emotional weekend and it's all coming to an end very shortly. Um, we travelled, as you know, to the Northern Rivers to collect my mum's remains, her ashes. So, it actually was a bit emotional for me getting to Grafton. And up until making this video just now, I haven't really cried again since my initial breakdown when I arrived on Friday afternoon. Um, It's the end of a, a good era. We went to visit my great uncle as well, who was in the same nursing home. And we, um, we exchanged some fond memories and some good times and bad times that my mum um, had. Um, Boodles, um, it's a lovely man. He's the husband of one of my grandma's sisters. Um, the only person living now is um, Billy. He's the last to go in that first, second generation of family members and our generation now are the only ones left. So mum, you know, died in February. You know, her memory does live on in, in all of us. I say and do things and I look like her every day and that's how she'll live inside me. So, um, yeah, so this is basically just a bit of a, a rendition of, um, in relation to what went on during the weekend and the collection of her um, ashes and, and things like that. So I think this has been the final step now to finalising um, mum's death and I do feel that I'm going to move on 100% from here. You know, it still makes me sad every now and again when I think of those memories and how much I miss my mother, but I don't know what's to come with my future. I don't know what's going to come out of my life or how I'm going to lead it. 
but I am looking forward to spending the rest of my life with my own family, my beautiful family, my husband, my two children. Well, one's not a child anymore, that's for sure. She's a, she's a woman and a beautiful one at that. So I'm proud of how she actually, um, she grew up, how she was raised. So that's it. I am going to finish my weekend watching a bit of um, YouTube, as I usually do. And yeah, so I'm going to sleep in tomorrow morning. I'm going to have a decent breakfast. At, we're going to pack and head away. So we've still got ties to Grafton. My daughter's best friend lives in Grafton. And my mother's best friend also lives in Grafton. And of course, Buddles, he also lives in Grafton at, a, at the same nursing home mum did. So we will and we do have plans of actually calling in to see all of them in the future. Um, my daughter actually speaks to her friend quite frequently every day, either by phone or by text message. <laughs> so yeah. Guys, thanks for coming along this journey with me. It's certainly been, as I said, an emotional one this weekend. But, um, you know, only fond memories from here on in. So take care. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey. Don't forget to... And don't forget to hit that notification bell and YouTube will let you know when I do some more uploading. Thanks guys. Take care. Love to all. Yes. Yes. Showing you're a manly man. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking God. Seriously, I'm just going to jump in the fucking ocean now. <laughs> oh shit. Hi everyone, this is Buddles, my great uncle. We've come to visit him at the Grafton Aged Care Home. Um, so you're gonna say good day, Buddles, to everyone out there on YouTube. Good day, everybody. Hey everyone, hi again. We have made it to the grey house. I am actually in my PJs, so please excuse me. We picked the remains of my mother up in this lovely little urn. Um, I'll insert some pictures later on once I've um, got this vlog together. A uh, bit of a, an emotional day today. Just a little bit upsetting, but you know, we've pulled together. I'm going to pick up mum's belongings tomorrow. And yeah, so we're having a glass of wine in celebration of um, my mum's soul in rest. And I will be at it again tomorrow. And tomorrow will be a, a better day for me.